Hello and welcome everybody to today's lecture about understanding the electric grid, the requirements, structure and grid stability, which are essential to provide a safe and reliable supply of electrical energy to everybody of us. So, to understand the electric grid, we have two focus to keep in mind. One focus is energy as a global quantity and the second focus is power as a local quantity. For the sake of completeness, I show you the full content of my lectures, but today we want to concentrate on blackout due to lack of transmission capacity. So let's get started. Here you can see to my right side an abstracted power system where the consumers, which are at the low end, so the low voltage side of this network, consume a, a parent power of something like 480 megawatts in order to keep the balance of power and the law of conservation of energy, we must feed in the same amount of power at the same time from the power stations which feed into the transmission grid. So the transmission grid through medium voltage provides the energy from the high voltage level down to the consumers. Now the network, the transmission network is split into two parts, a left part, a right part, just for the sake of an example, and each line can supply 50% of the full power on the left and the right side. Now, from left to right, we must transport these 240 megawatts. So this is carried out in three parallel lines, which share their burden. So this means 80 megawatts for all of them. So what I did not tell you so far is the first line has a bottleneck problem, which may lead to a short circuit and which will trip out this first line and this is the danger point this is where it starts so the power that flows from left to right will be now split for these two remaining lines which immediately go on overload and will trip out so first line number two now line number three and this means the right side of the transmission network is not in a position anymore to bring energy down to the customers at the same moment the energy flow is transferred to the left side and this goes, as you can see with the right color, goes into overload and will trip out. So this means now the consumers have no energy, not at all anymore. And most likely the power plants also will run into problems due to the sudden deloading of their turbines or whatever they have. So this means this is a blackout, but I can assure you due to careful planning and careful operation, this will never happen. I thank you very much for your attention. And this was today's lecture about blackout due to lack of transmission capacity.